What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and I'm back again in New York City and today I'm going to be making a video in a little neighborhood not too far around here which is between Kips Bay and Murray Hill. So I'm going to focus more in Murray Hill and part of Kips Bay and it's mostly like a residential area with a lot of skyscrapers, a lot of apartments. It's also known for its tree-lined streets so you're going to see a lot of nice streets covered with trees so I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to take you guys with me so join me so the first thing is first i'm going to walk around the street that i haven't been in a long time which is by lessington avenue and 28th street and it has a few nicknames they call it like little india also they call it curry hill because it's like in murray hill and it's covered with a lot of grocery stores a lot of restaurants are indian and pakistani and all that area so i'm gonna walk around there and i think it's like a little hidden gem i went there years ago and i went in one of the restaurants and it was pretty good so it's like a little area that a lot of people they don't know about so, like I said, it's been a minute since I've been there, so I'm going to walk over there and show you guys. So it's a little windy today, so I apologize in advice. I don't know how it's going to hear, but... You see here is Park Avenue, and then I feel like a block down is where those regular neighborhoods starts. It's pretty much hitting over here, so... Like I say, this Park Avenue goes all the way to Midtown. Now I'm going to walk over that way and then probably make it to Lessington Avenue, make my left and start showcasing you, you know, what's happening around there. I think it's a neighborhood that's totally worth visiting. So now I made it here to Lexington Avenue and within a block ahead of me is that little street that they call Curry Hill and I can start seeing all the restaurants. Like I said, it's been years since I walk around and I don't walk too far from here so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what thing is going on during these days. So I'll give you like a little brief tour of the little section and then we're going to make it deeper to the neighborhood of Murray Hill. And this is 27th Street here you can start seeing an Indian restaurant, Bati Indian Grill. But I think a lot of the restaurants here, they're like more like in the higher class. But they got a little bit of everything. Across the street, there's more options too. So I'm probably going to cross the street. Let me see, this is Nepalese over here. And this is a Pakistani Lahori. That's actually a city in Pakistan. Kebab. And they sell like a lot of good stuff. This is Daba. I think I ate in this one, if I'm not mistaken years ago then they got a vegan indian restaurant right here over there you can see also the chrysler building there used to be an indian buffet over here that i went also years ago then across the street you got a it's called handy pakistani indian Bangladeshi. then they got more over there but i'm gonna walk over this side and then here's another one south indian i never had south indian food so maybe someday i'll venture and try around but yeah, it looks like things has changed a little bit. Like they're developing more areas and stuff. So but let me just cross over the other side. And then I'm probably going to cross the other side and see what's happening. They got like another spot. It kind of reminds me of an Indian restaurant I ate in Montreal, Canada. Like I said, there's more business, but I'm going to cross the street so you guys can see then Vintage India. It's actually like a sorry shop. But like the biggest area if you want to see like really some Indian spots I recommend that you guys go to Queens there's different neighborhoods like Jackson Heights and if you go to uh, between South Olsen Park and Richmond Hill there's more like Punjabis over there so you know pretty diverse I'm just crossing this side to show you that it keeps going I think there's more varieties over this side and this is Lexington Avenue you know it's literally like two blocks but you got the stores and everything This is a restaurant over here. Can I, can I even pronounce that? It's actually like a deli or a store where they sell herbs and spices. Lesseton Kalu, Kalustians. And they got more over here. Then this must be like a grocery store. New Foods of India. I can smell the food too. It smells pretty good. Then they got a vegan spot. I'm not sure if this is the buffet that I went years ago. I think it's actually this one over here on top, so, yeah. Another way that I know this is legit is because not only I Google it, but I see a lot of taxi, I see a lot of Uber drivers, you know, a lot of them, they're from South Asia. 
So when you see a park over here, around here, it's because they, in the break, they stop here and they grab a bite. So that's how you know it's legit. I see one over here eating. I'm not just gonna shovel the camera in his face, but yeah. It's actually like a buffet over here. Yeah, this one, lamb, kebab, tikka. It's actually a buffet, so you go inside and eat. And then it keeps going. There's more taxi drivers across the street. So that's how you know you get the real deal. So maybe one day I'll come in a venture and eat around here. And then you got this restaurant over here. And then the Spice Corner. This is really colorful. And then you see another taxi driver right here. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Punjabi Delhi in East Village. Also, you will see like a lot of cab drivers waiting there. So when you see that, you know that's pretty legit. So it might be affordable price and pretty authentic. So, but yeah. So this area is more like a residential, but you can see the tall skyscrapers. And the Empire State Building is behind there, but these buildings are covering up. But it's crazy how a few blocks away you get like a residential area like this, like pretty quiet, but I haven't even made it to the other street. So I'm gonna, wake it, I'm gonna make it to 34th oh, yeah. Street. That's where it officially starts like Murray Hill. Also, the neighborhood is the entrance to the tunnel of Queens Midtown, where it takes you to Queens if you're driving by a car. But you're gonna be expecting like a really heavy traffic when you drive around there. So I did it a few times and I don't think I'm doing it again. It's just crazy. So also even in neighborhoods like this, I think this is kind of like the borderline of Kips Bay with Murray Hill. But like I say, if you walk in this regular streets over here, you're gonna get like beautiful architecture like this. Like townhouses, let me cross the street so you can see it has its own unique design. And you can see how it has this colonial terrace and stuff. Yeah, really beautiful detail. And like I gotta say, it's like no matter what block of New York City you go, it's always an adventure. Then here's more regular, but you're also gonna see like high rise buildings like this. And it mostly cater, the area caters mostly to college students and young professionals. And you see, I guess, after work or after college, they hang out around here because there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, and doing happy hours or in the nighttime too, you see them hanging out around here. So, so you know, it's going to be like a really good vibe when you walk around here. This is Third Avenue, which is also one of the main streets here in Manhattan. And it goes all the way to Midtown, you know, it's all the way uptown, you know, but it gets like really busy around this area and in Midtown because you got all those, you know, business happening around this. So you're gonna see a lot of professional people with their suits and stuff walking, but look, you see a lot of restaurants going on over here. So there's a beautiful ambience over here. And then when I walk over there, you see the high rise building. So it's what makes this neighborhood pretty unique. So I love it here, the details of the skyscrapers and maybe one day I'm gonna make a whole video walking the entire avenue. One of them I'm gonna make it all the way to Harlem, but me cross the street but I'm just gonna show you you know what it looks like and then even here in Midtown you can see also like these street vendors selling their fruits and stuff so yeah but yeah let's walk forward to see what can we find As you can see, this is really busy over here. There's a lot of business happening over here. There's even like a chicken joint that I ate. I ordered from my job and they deliver. You can see the traffic jam going on. There's a pizzeria right there across the street. Tall buildings, but if you go to this regular street, you're gonna see like beautiful architecture. But I'm gonna pass 35th or 36th, and then maybe I'll make my turn by 37th Street or 36th. Okay, that's where you're gonna see the beginning when you go to the Queens Midtown Tunnel. And there is some beautiful brownstones around that area, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I gotta say, it's so busy over here, and there's a lot of business, like barbershop. I saw a lot of deli, then it's like a Mediterranean restaurant over here. They got the menu. It's pretty good, too. And then this is 36th Street, so I think I'm gonna make my ride over here. I think I understand, like, the traffic jam, they're trying to take the Queens Midtown Tunnel. 
So let's see how this looks like. So here you can see what I'm talking about. This is why I really hate driving in New York City. But when you see a main street that connects you to a main, you know, road or something and connects you with another borough, this is what you're gonna expect, like the huge traffic. But then you say, like I say, residential. When you walk around, there's some really tall buildings over there in the background, so I'm gonna make it to 40 Suffolk Street or something like that to see what's going on. There's a little bridge over there too. Connects you with other roads and then you get a regular street like this. And then this is what I'm talking about. 36th Street, it merges with another street. And then there's a tunnel over there, the Queens Midtown Tunnel that goes underneath those roads. I can see Queens in the background too, but that's a traffic jam. This is 2nd Avenue over, he over here. And it's a pretty long tunnel and also you gotta pay a toll. I'm not sure if the, you gotta pay the toll to go to Queens, but I know coming back to Manhattan, you gotta pay a toll with just eight fifty, I think, or $9. It's been years since I drove, but yeah. That's another thing too, so I think it's better to get around the balls by subway train. Just by 275, you can get as far as you can, you know. But yeah, giving you a vibe of what's going on around here. So another cool thing about this neighborhood that it goes all the way to the East River and by the highway, you could get some views of the river and Queens. So like I say, it's not really that big, but I think it's pretty interesting and worth a little bit if you're around Manhattan. So I gotta keep making my way a little deep further. You know, here's what I'm talking about. A really heavy traffic jam over there. But then those skyscrapers that you see there, that's actually Long Island City, Queens. That's another ball right there. And the United Nations is right there, that building. But yeah, and this Kips Bay, kind of like the border of Kips Bay with Murray Hill, but yeah. I know, like I say, I think the road I was showing you, it goes underground, the Queens Midtown, it goes under the river, and it takes you right there to the other ball. So I think it's pretty interesting. Then there's a park across the street there, and you can see, like I said, like I say, all the developments in Long Island City, Queens, and then this is the United Nations right here. And to the city in 42nd Street should be around there, which I made a video over there a couple of times. Pretty nice area, but now I'm just gonna make it back to my left side. This is the famous 42nd Street. This bridge over here is Tudor City, where you can get on top and capture a view of the Chrysler Bell and the Warren Vanderbilt. And you got a street like this. You know, I'm actually tempting to get up there. So I decided to get on top, see 42nd Street behind me. And it looks like they developed the bus lane because I see it so colorful, like so red. Like I say, literally like the borderline of Murray Hill and another section of Midtown Manhattan. And like I say, it's a beautiful day in spring. And I usually I don't hang out pretty much around this area, but it's always a vibe. And this is like a really popular spot when in the summer comes Manhattan Hinge, which is when the sunset sets up with the skyscrapers and the street. It goes like specifically and it covers, you know, the buildings and the sun in the middle. So you're gonna see this really packed over here with a lot of people. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mini Tudor City and here you go. An iconic Instagram haven right here. Photo shoot. Even though you see the craziness, you end up like in a small, quiet park here with the birds, you know, <laughs> doing their thing. There's a little bit of cherry blossom, but I think it's over. Then the recreational park over here. There's some architecture going on too, so. But yeah, this is still part of Murray Hill, like the ending of it, but it's a beautiful area. So this hidden gem here, like I say, is a little piece of Murray Hill, what they call it all, you know, Tudor City with some old architecture of high-rise buildings. And they decorated pretty nice, you know, and you can see the spring over there, the flowers and everything going on. Then it goes over the hill. And it brings me memories, because I remember in 2020 when the pandemic was hitting like really hard, I walked through this area to see it's so empty. 
So it's bringing me that memory back. There you go, the New York City sirens. But then you can see it's up the hill and Grand Central goes over that way. So it makes it pretty interesting. So that's gonna be the end of my video exploring Murray Hill, Kips Bay and Little India right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.